Hi, I'm Erica at the Events Calendar. In this video, I'm going to show you how to test for theme and plugin conflicts on your WordPress website. While we work hard to make our plugins as broadly compatible as possible, we can't test with every theme, plugin, and server environment. This means that occasionally, conflicts may occur. A conflict means the code from one theme or plugin is conflicting with another theme or plugin, or that something in the server environment isn't compatible. Carefully following these steps is essential to finding a solution, because each step can help you quickly narrow down the possible causes of the problem. It's important to note that conflict testing can result in some disruption to your site, so we recommend you test for conflicts on a staging copy or use a plugin like Health Check, which provides troubleshooting mode that only applies the changes for your user account, not your site's visitors. With that said, here are the steps to test for conflicts. First, switch to the 2020 theme. You can change themes from Dashboard, Appearance, Themes. If you don't see the 2020 theme, click on Add New Theme, search for 2020, and click Install. Once 2020 is installed, hover over it and click Activate. Next, head to Dashboard, Plugins. Select all plugins, except the events calendar and event tickets if installed. Include any events calendar extensions or third-party plugins designed to work with ours. You can use the Bulk Actions menu to deactivate. Then, clear your site and browser caches and try to recreate the problem you originally noticed. If the problem is fixed at this time, it means there's a conflict. Next, you'll want to find the source of the conflict. While these steps can be tedious, they're necessary to find the root cause of the conflict so a solution can be found. First, switch back to your original theme. And retest for the problem. If it reoccurs, you have a theme conflict. If everything is still okay, move on to the next step. Head to Dashboard, Plugins, and work through the list of plugins you deactivated. Reactivate them one plugin at a time, checking for the problem after each reactivation. If the problem reappears, there's a plugin conflict. Make note of which plugin you activated that caused the problem to reappear. Notify our help desk of the conflict you're experiencing, including the name of the conflicting theme or plugin and its version number. Describe the problem, what happens when you run that theme or plugin alongside our plugin. If you have access to premium support, be sure to include your site system information from dashboard, events, troubleshooting. Common sources of conflicts are theme overrides, JavaScript errors, or an out-of-date version of a theme, plugin, or WordPress itself. Now you know how to test for theme and plugin conflicts on your WordPress website. Thanks for watching, and be sure to see the Knowledge Base article 
linked in the description for more information.